Boomer Ranger Ron. Good morning, sports fans. Thank you for watching. We appreciate every one of our 300 plus subscribers. I want to take this moment to thank you for watching. I've got some exciting content coming up uh, very, very soon. Um, probably within the next couple of weeks, perhaps the next month. Well, I got a vacation coming up, but when I get back, anyhow, look for end of August, uh, first part of September. We're going to be doing, right now I'm headed out to uh, the Regional Water Authority. Nope, the Aquarian Water Company of Connecticut. This is their deer management program. Now, for some reason, I mailed this in. I mailed this in right away as soon as it came out, and the U.S. Postal Service managed to lose it. So I talked to Michelle today at the Eastern Headquarters of Aquarian. These are the people that survive, provide our water for our, our house, our water sprinklers, our drinking and everything. And they manage about 8,000 acres, all open to hunting with archery. And um, as I said, my application didn't get accepted. She hasn't sold out. It's a quota hunt. They give out about 500 applications. So we're headed up to Easton now to drop this off in the mailbox. Um, she was nice enough to say she'd save one for me. So I am fortunate. I have gotten one every year that I've applied. And I encourage you, if you want to hunt nearby, they've got some beautiful property in five different towns. That's about it for now. Um, as you know, you should um, definitely subscribe, like, comment and uh, definitely share i really appreciate it so long now as i said folks we are on our way to the aquarian water company the reservoir is off to my right it's a little hard to see with all the trees but uh, this is my favorite hunting area in eastern and western uh, i like a spot off of wilson road and uh, down here we have the route 130 136 section Westport Road and uh, as I said earlier in this video I had mailed in I had mailed in my application for the annual archery hunt it runs from September 15th to December 30th I think it doesn't continue to New Year's although there is a January season they do not allow hunting in January so this particular place will be open from all their properties, since about seven or eight thousand acres, all their properties will be open from September 15th to December 30th for archery. And Area 56, where I hunt, will close for two weeks archery wise for the shotgun hunt, and it probably also closes for one week during the youth shotgun hunt. Uh, we missed that last year, but anyhow, long story short. We're very close to arriving and we're going to hand deliver our application because fortunately for me they didn't hit the quota of 500. They still had some applications left and um, Michelle was nice enough to reserve one for me. I'm going to uh, put it in the mailbox shortly. We're almost there. They're a Black Rock Turnpike, 714 Black Rock Turnpike. It's right around the corner here. You may get a better chance to see the reservoir. And they own a series of different reservoirs. They have one in the Westport Western line called the Saugatuck Reservoir. This one here has a number of different names and I'll just call it the Eastern Reservoir for now. And we're on the uh, Eastern Reading line soon. But uh, right now I think we're still, still in Eastern. We should, be, we should be arriving there shortly. I don't want to hold you guys up. You guys, if I don't end up doing this real soon, you guys have a wonderful weekend. And as I said earlier, please do stay tuned because, oh, here's the, here's the dam at the reservoir. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of property. It's very well maintained. And there's an Aspatuck Orchards around the corner. That's a good landmark. I encourage you to hand deliver your permit. Don't do what I did, put it in a mailbox. If you do put it in the mailbox and you don't get it by the middle of July after you've applied June 1st, then by all means call and ask if they received it. Otherwise, just a phenomenal, phenomenally beautiful piece of property. As I said earlier, uh, probably around 8,000 acres in five different towns. 
maybe more than five tons. I'd have to actually look at it again. But um, it's a thrill to hunt here. It's beautiful. During the week, it's quiet. There's some historic homes. Uh, this reservoir was occupied by people when it was a farm in the 1700s. Maybe even as late as the late 1600s. Some beautiful stone walls, all kinds of beautiful things in there. This is a really, really great place to hunt, folks. Uh, that red barn may be the Aspatuck Orchard. No, it's not. Uh, a lot of red barns out here. Should be around the next corner, folks. This is all their property. It's marked hydraulic company land. They bought the old Bridgeport Hydraulic when the Aquarian acquired it, and it's consolidated now under the Aquarian name. I do believe they're headquartered in Maine. It is still a private company. It is not publicly traded. It is a water utility company. So, my ways just told me a thousand feet. This next red building is Aquarian's uh, this is a uh, Aspatuck Orchards, and this is Aquarian Aspatuck Environment. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know whether it opened today or not, but. Uh, we are here, and uh, this is Aquarian Water. She did say to leave it. She did say to leave it in a mailbox, but the flag is up, and I don't want to take a chance that they'll pick it up. So, Boomers, Boomer Ranger Ron here. I'm at the um, one of the public areas, one of the public land areas, and. Um, Scouting's taking place for the rest of the month out till the 31st of August. Um, sadly, um, we won't, we haven't been able to get out of here. Been busy working at Bass Pro Tracker Boats, busy boat buying season, and um, we're getting ready to leave on a European trip tomorrow. So, this is the last day, and I wanted to come up and uh, hang a trail camera. You know, the woods look pretty quiet and dry considering we had about 10 inches of rain the other day. So maybe all this water ran into the reservoir. Uh, this is by permit only. You have to apply every year. Parking by permit only. You have to carry your tag with you. And uh, it's a beautiful facility. This is the same place I shot that eight point buck during shotgun season. But it'll be exclusively archery until the November shotgun season. Then the archery season will close. We have a lot of great contact planned this year, so do like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Uh, I'm planning to talk about some very interesting things, including should you hunt alone. That's going to be a premiere episode, and that's going to continue over several episodes. I will tell you, depending, it depends, and it depends on a whole lot of factors and a whole lot of situations. But um, I'm going to save the real answer in each of the series, so don't forget, subscribe, like, Share and uh, hit that notification bell. We'll Once see you guys. I accomplished it. I managed to get the trail camera hung up. All the trail cameras are old and they're hat. They're acting up a little bit. So I think it's time to get the wireless ones. I have two sitting at home. I haven't opened the boxes yet, which is pretty typical. I've just been busy. So as I said, there's only a few days left. And there's three guys out there scouting and scouting on August 25th. There's only uh, three more days left to scout. That's the trail I normally walk down. I um, can't see them now, it's so thick. Anyhow, I'm kind of glad I didn't uh, walk down there. Got a better picture of them now. They're just looking for sign, looking for a place to hunt, that's all. Doing some preseason scouting, which you should do. But I'm going to go based on uh, future. I know this area pretty well, and I killed that buck right on this ridge I'm standing on. So 
I'm happy here. It feels like 100 degrees out there today. It's probably only about 85, maybe close to 90, but it feels like 110. Don't forget, get out there, do some scouting, put your trail cameras out, decide where you're going to hunt earlier rather than later. See you real soon. Bye now.